Okay. Congratulations. Thank you for. Okay. How do you feel na a lot, a lot of brands are trusting their names and their company? I feel you? blessed. I feel blessed. I'm very thankful. There's a lot of opportunities here and I'm just happy that the brands want to work with me. Okay. Do you feel more love here in the Philippines? I definitely feel the love. You know, in the Philippines, there's so much love. Everybody's excited. Yes. There's a really... Um, there's a feeling of a community aspect here mm -hmm. that I'm really drawn to and since I've been here for about I think three months now, mm -hmm. I've really felt it. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm excited to be here and I'm very thankful. Okay. Are you enjoying the Philippines so far? Yes, I'm having so much fun. I mean, I'm in Manila and I'm working here in Manila, but when I have a few days off, I've been able to go to some of the islands. I recently went to Shiragao, yeah. so I really loved that too. I just love the beach. Okay. Until weather is staying in the Philippines. Forever! <laughs> <laughs> and we saw your video that you went to Divisoria. Did you tell us the story about going to Divisoria and um, purchasing textile and mm. the tricycle uh, experience? Ah, uh, yes. So, because I'm a designer, I wanted to do fabric shopping. And I've been to Divisoria before when I was a kid. I would visit the Philippines in the summer times and we would go to Divisoria to buy clothing or purses and I knew there was fabric there so this last trip when I moved here I said I want to buy some fabric that is local to the Philippines so Divisoria is so much fun for me I don't go there a lot so it's fun to make tawad and see what's there I got some denim and different fabrics that I could use for my upcoming collection how did you make tawad? How did I make I said tawa how much, po? How much, how much uh, discount did they give you? For me I think it's a it's a good discount. Good yes, thing. but they made me buy more, mm. so <laughs> I'm not sure. That's the, cash. Okay. That's the deal. Okay. okay, so what are you planning to do, uh, to do with the textile that you bought? Um, are you designing Is it uh, a new something collection? special very soon? Yes, I have a new collection that I'm working on and it will debut at the end of August. So I'm very excited for it. Please stay tuned. And it will be my first collection being produced here in the Philippines. So one of my goals when I was coming here, I wanted to explore manufacturing and sewers and tailors and what supplies are here because I'm coming from living in the States and that's where I've produced all of my pieces. And now that I live here, I said I want to work with the local artisans. Okay. And how about the experience of the riding the trike? Uh, how was it? Uh, did, uh, is it the first time that you ever rode the tricycle? It's not my first time because uh, when I was, as I mentioned, I would visit the Philippines growing up. We would ride that for fun. So for me, it's fun because we don't have that in yes. America. It's a little bit hot, my yes. but <laughs> it's it's a cool experience. So that brings us to the topic of skincare. <laughs> how do you take care of your skin? With because this weather. Of the weather that we have here in the Philippines. Skincare is so important because for me, I wear a lot of makeup for photo shoots or events. And that's why I love Hina because at the end of the day, when I come home, I really need something that is a good quality that will take the makeup off and really cleanse. And the thing about Pina is it helps exfoliate all the skin, all the makeup, so then I can wash it, moisturize, and start fresh the very next day. So even when you were younger, you were to really take care of your skin? Uh, after when you started to become a teenager? Mm, I would say when I started becoming becoming a teenager, that's when I learned skincare is important and you can't just use any type of product on your face. Uh -huh. okay. mm -hmm. And um, now what can you advise to the Filipinas uh, to take care of your skin? I would say one thing I love about Pina Light is it's very affordable for a lot of people. That was yes. one of the goals and that's why I'm happy to collaborate them and be an endorser okay. because you can have the Pina Light or the Pina Glow. It's a bar of soap that you can keep. You just rub it a little bit with water and at the end of the day, you just wash it all over your skin and that's something that you can use daily. I like to do it right before I go to bed and then you moisturize because when you sleep, your skin is being replenished. Um, are there any, uh, maybe your comment or reaction uh, most of Filipinos is lo uh, loving you for uh, embracing yeah. the culture of the Philippines but some others uh, in the Hollywood are trying to hide their identity as a Filipino. Mm. How do you feel about it? 
I think uh, we should never hide our identity, no matter what culture you're from. For me, I'm always longing to connect more with Filipino culture because honestly, I grew up in America. So being a Filipino American, I personally have so much to learn because I didn't grow up here. Nagaaro ako, I really want to learn Tagalog. So for me, I'm always trying to connect more and more. And that's very special and personal to me. And I think everybody, everybody should represent their culture or where they're from. I think that's very important. And you said in the posting on Binibining Philippines, how was the experience again? I'm sorry? Hosting the Binibining Miss Universe. Universe. Oh, Miss Universe Philippines. Yes. I was hosting it. That was a really great oh, opportunity. Miss Universe Philippines, yes. Yes, I hosted Miss Universe Philippines and that oh, was the experience. biggest hosting opportunity I've ever had so I'm very thankful because last year I was a judge at yes. NUPH and so it's a full circle it's moment a... coming back now that I'm not Miss Universe anymore yes. and being able to host I really thank Jonas for that opportunity I had so much fun you're doing hosting now endorsements are you open to doing movies or hosting TV shows or acting I'm, I'm definitely open to that yes mm. what kind of um, um, acting is it acting, hosting, comedy? What, what kind of uh, shows do you like to do? You know, I'm interesting because I've been doing a lot of hosting. I'm very thankful for that, mm -hmm. and I I really enjoy it. So I think hosting some sort of show mm -hmm. or a series. I've been traveling around the Philippines and sharing more with the culture and even with the audience that I have in America too. They're very interested in seeing the Philippines. So I feel like in a way I'm being an ambassador for more people to come to the Philippines, whether they're Filipino Americans or non-Filipino as well. I'm just trying to showcase the beauty of the Philippines with everybody that is tuning in to my social channels. So yes. I think a hosting opportunity with that or even my designing of some sort or going yes. into Filipino textiles. I'm just passionate about that naturally. So maybe a hosting a show in that lane as well would be good. And are you practicing your Tagalog? Ano lang mga marami ka na alam na words? Yes, um, may teacher ako. Okay. okay so, mag Tagalog tayo. Okay. So, but, pero, uh, Tagal, please. Okay. Ano yung, ano yung mga bagong salitang Pilipino ang natutunan mo? What is the new Filipino that I am learning? Ah, learn so uh, okay. Like, halika na, kain na, pagod na ako, or I'm learning like may tanan ako, may tanang ako. Yes, like just some simple phrases or lang isang tubig, you know, isang tubig lang or hindi ako kumakain ng karne kasi pescatarian ako. So short phrases to help me get around. Pero sobrang mahirap. I'm learning. Uh, Gumawa, gagawa, ginawa. I'm like past, present, future. I'm like, oh my gosh, sobrang mahira. <laughs> but gusto ko matuto. Do you watch local TV shows to learn more? Yes, and I read uh, children's books. Mm. But I'm reading it so slow. Sobrang tagal. <laughs> but it helps me a little bit too. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.